Okay, in this episode, we're going to be setting up a WordPress environment for our Gatsby site to pull in data from. Um, the WordPress portion of this series is going to focus on plugin setups, environment setups, and how you generally set up a WordPress theme. But before we get started, we want to first have an environment to run our WordPress application within. Um, I'm going to be using a tool called Local by Flywheel, and I'm going to be using version 3.3.0. And this is because later versions don't give you control over the uh, root directory for the site path, which makes no difference to anybody following a standard WordPress setup. But I'm going to be doing a bonus video on how to use Bedrock and um, use Composer to manage your plugin dependencies in a bonus video. So without further ado, let's get started. We're going to call our site WJHM, what Jack has made. Um, advanced options, this looks good. Yep. Uh, continue. And we'll just use the preferred setup for now. I'll go ahead and set up a username and password and my, my email. So now what this does is it goes ahead and after I give it permission, it'll start booting up a WordPress environment. Um, it needed permissions to edit the host files, and that's so that when I access wjhm.test, it uh, redirects the routing to go to my local host instead of online. So after a couple of seconds, maybe a minute or two, you'll have your new WordPress environment set up. Um, from here, you can see the database settings. If you want to go in and manage that using PHP My Admin. You have um, an SSL certificate that you can trust, and this will let us access the website using HTTPS locally instead of HTTP. Um, Mailhog controls um, the WordPress mail system. And then the overview, you can change your PHP version if you wanted to, um, your MySQL version, and if you're using Apache or Nginx to configure the routing uh, or routing. And if we copy the what Jack has made .test domain, and then go into the browser. You can see that I've got this new environment, and it's basically a standard WordPress install. Um, it's not secure, but if we go to HTTPS, it should. Yep, that works fine too. Um, and then if I go into the admin section, And this is our WordPress environment. So it was pretty easy to spin up, it's quite quick. If you've used uh, XAMPP or WAMP or anything similar, the process is normally a little longer. Um, and as you can see, just spinning up with local by flywheel was pretty quick. Um, by default, we've got our themes, which are 2019, which is activated, 2017 and 2016. We're gonna be creating our own one later on. But for now, we just wanted to get a WordPress environment set up on our local machine. Um, later on, you'll want to deploy this to uh, an environment. You can do this on a shared hosting environment or a single hosting environment. Um, I can kind of go through that in a bonus video, but it's not really um, catered in this tutorial. Uh, we, we just want to get a local environment set up for now.